All right, Simon, so what's next coming up for you? Next one is Ironman 70.3 Augusta. All right, Evan, what okay. did we do in workouts today? Today we did a bike run brick. We went out to our usual spot at Vancouver Lake, which is a really, really flat ride. Uh, we started the ride with our one hill that's right down the street from there and did five by three minutes at like a low cadence effort. So we were just trying to keep the cadence around 60, 65 RPM for three minutes at a time and then headed out to the lake and did our course, which we've done a time trial on before. Just did 45 minutes at like a half, it was a little above a half iron effort. It'd be like the start of a half iron effort. So kind of surgy. We, me and Simon made sure we played like legal draft distance and kind of attacked each other. Simon definitely attacked me strong uh, with like five, 10 minutes left and probably put like 10 seconds into me there at the end. So Simon won on the bike today. Then we went over to the track short warm up and then four by 2K for me at like around a little under 3.30 per K pace. And Simon was right there for three of them. And then the fourth one, we slowed down a little bit. That was it. We got it in before it got too hot here today. The air quality actually is not too bad too. Let's see what it is. Yeah. It's 81 degrees and 66. AQI, 66. Yep. Oh, it's way better than yesterday. Mm -hmm. It was 100 plus yesterday. Yeah, and this is Zane. Yeah. With his new helmet. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, got a new helmet. <laughs> Next question, how is Ironman like plastic? It was good. Uh, that was my first Ironman, so honestly I had no expectations of like how I was gonna do. Um, it was good field, like I think 50 some starters. And uh, I finished right at 30th. 15 or 16 guys didn't finish, which I guess is normal for an Ironman. That seemed kind of bizarre to me to have that many guys not finish, but there were a lot that didn't finish. But uh, it was a non-wetsuit swim, which was okay, because I definitely wanted to see where I'm at without a wetsuit and swam 102. So nothing impressive, but was okay for where I'm at right now. Felt like I biked pretty well on a really tough course. So biked uh, 452. I was holding steady and running well until I feel like this is the story of everybody probably who does an Ironman. It's like you, you, you're doing great till mile, like I think it was 16. I, th I think I remember up to like even mile 14, 15, I was like, oh man, I, I could have a really, really good day today. And then you go from, I can have a really, really good day to, oh my God, I just want to get to the finish line. Please get this thing over with. I did as much as I could nutrition wise. I, I don't think it was a nutritional thing. It was just... The legs don't have uh, a great iron, uh, great marathon in them yet, but working towards it. So mm -hmm. it was a good day. So, okay, button. so now it's re do you see a red? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, there's a red button there. And then, yeah. Good. All right, Simon, so what's up next for you? Um, start, <laughs> did you just ask that uh, question again? <laughs> Ready, and go. Next one is Ironman 70.3 Augusta. I am on the start list for 70.3 Michigan, which is this weekend, the one Evan's going to as well. But I, I don't think I'll go. Um, if I do go, it'll be kind of last minute position. I kind of want to hammer the swim and the bike and get that first out the water. But it might be worthwhile to get training, don't travel and just focus on Augusta since that might be my, my last race of this season. I did sign up for 70.3 Indian Wells, but I think I want a longer off season and just looking forward to training a lot into the lead up for 2025 70.3 Oceanside and Ironman Texas. Recovering super well for my Ironman. Nothing too like out of the ordinary. Just um, having a good swim, bike run. Yesterday I did 9,100 yards of swimming and with a, a huge main set, so. Yeah, and today's bike was pretty good and got through most of that run. And final question, what's your race schedule looking like? Yeah, so going back to like a big 73 block here the last couple weeks and uh, gonna race uh, Michigan 70.3 this weekend, then two weeks race Augusta 73 
And then if I'm feeling good after that, a couple more weeks and then race a Disto Island, which is a smaller pro field out in South Carolina. Today's Tuesday, so that means I have a quality bike session. Got my bike set up. I did put the adapter today because uh, I don't have a down tube on my bike. And uh, sometimes I don't put it on easy stuff because I'm just too lazy. But when I have hard session like today, eight by three minutes about threshold, that's 320, 330 watts for me. This tends to wiggle more if I push harder. So definitely need it for today. I haven't rode Zwift in a few weeks and I saw there's a new layout. So time to get riding and do my main set eight by three minutes at threshold. So it looks like I averaged 330 watts for 30 minutes. 10 by 30, I decided to do two more because I felt pretty good. 354 watts for the last three minutes. I, I definitely leveled up and uh, decided to do this indoors because when I was riding with Evan and Zane on Saturday, we were going 27 miles per hour for that um, 45 minute segment. And uh, it's, when you're pushing this much power, you go pretty fast outside. If there's cars around, potholes, you gotta worry about. So now it's getting to the point where I'm getting a little scared pushing some big power outside because if you go down, if you crash at 30 miles per hour, that's gonna hurt more than if you're riding 20, 15 miles per hour. It's a, it's, it's a good problem to have, but uh, I rode inside today. Gonna go do a easy runoff, 45 minutes with some hills. I did listen to the podcast from the triathlon hour about um, having Chris Lieto come on. Now I was kind of coached by him for like a short period of time when uh, he joined NVDM coaching and with my, my previous coach Natasha. And I decided to go more towards that self coach and having my training buddies Evan and Josh kind of coach me. So I did switch coaches. Um, I think this was about two months ago before Ironman Canada. But Chris and Natasha are definitely great coaches if you can afford them. Um, Natasha has done so much for me. And hearing the podcast about Chris Lieto's training philosophy, like uh, one thing I took away was when you start getting tired in training ride, don't wiggle around, don't like move your hips, or don't like tighten up your, uh, your face, but keep it relaxed and only keep working from the waist down. So always try to activate the glute, just keep pedaling, stay stable on the bike, don't move around, don't rock, don't like ah, push, uh, but instead try to stay relaxed. And that was uh, kind of what I was focusing on. And uh, especially that last effort, 350 watts, just kind of pushing from my, my legs and not from my arms, my face, my, my core, but keeping my core tight and just keeping the upper body relaxed and let the lower body do the work. So that went really well today. He's not my coach, but uh, I did work with him and you definitely should listen to that podcast if you guys have a chance. So everyone's preparing for their own race. Evan and I have 70.3 Augusta next. He just did 70.3 Michigan, uh, great bike ride and finished out strong for him. On the other hand, Josh Monda is uh, focusing on boxing. So he went from Ironman to boxing and just having fun in this off season and spending time with his family, which is great. 
And then my girlfriend Rachel is racing this weekend at 7.3 Tri-Cities. I'll be there to support her and get in all my key workouts before the travel and then traveling again next week for Georgia. So pretty exciting stuff. Thanks so much for watching and uh, giving you guys an update about uh, my plans and my, my race schedule. So thanks a lot for supporting and I'll see you guys in the next video.